Central Arizona Project, or CAP, represents one of the most significant milestones in our water history and is one of Arizona's most celebrated achievements of the 20th century. An incredible piece of engineering, CAP is a vast system of aqueducts, tunnels, pumping plants, and pipelines stretching out across 336 miles of primarily desert central and southern Arizona. From its origin at Lake Havasu to its terminus 14 miles south of Tucson, it is a critical artery through which Colorado River water is pumped uphill to metropolitan Phoenix, Casa Grande, and Tucson. Today, these cities thrive in no small part due to reliable supplies of this vital natural resource. The Central Arizona Project Association, or CAPA, was formed nearly seven decades ago in 1946. It was made up of Arizonans from every walk of life who were focused on building awareness in the state and gaining support from Congress to fund the construction of CAP. And in 1968, they succeeded. Without the CAPA, Central Arizona Project would not have been built, and we would not be enjoying the tremendous benefits that supplies of Colorado River water provide to our vibrant desert communities. In 1971, the Central Arizona Water Conservation District, or CAWCD, was created to provide the means for Arizona to repay the federal government for the reimbursable costs of CAP construction and to manage and operate the system. The CAWCD is run by a board of directors elected from the three Arizona counties that pay taxes to the CAP project and receive CAP water. Construction of the canal began in 1973 and was substantially completed in 1993. It took 20 years and $4 billion to build. 30 years ago, on May 22, 1985, the first deliveries of Colorado River water began. And today, CAP is our state's single largest source of renewable water, delivering more than one and a half million acre feet to central and southern Arizona each year. Our collaborations and innovations are contributing in significant ways to the broader water arena, not just in Arizona, but for the Colorado River Basin overall. Some examples include water conservation through a cooperative effort involving several basin states and the federal government. One result is a pilot program that retains water in the Colorado River system for the benefit of all of its users. Reservoir protection for Lake Mead through collaboration between CAP, other lower basin state water authorities, and the federal government to delay the onset of shortages. This includes working toward longer-term solutions for managing and increasing storage in this vital reservoir. Additional investments in water augmentation through cloud seeding, desalination, and other efficiency projects. Storing water underground to protect against future shortfalls. And the Lower Colorado River Multi-Species Conservation Program to support wildlife habitat restoration. Despite the changing circumstances we face on the Colorado River today, including a potential shortage declaration in 2016 or 2017, Arizona is in a strong position to deal with the challenges. This is due, in large part, to Central Arizona Project and our state's far-sighted water management. People are always interested in, in water, uh, especially when you see what's happening in other states uh, like California that are really uh, suffering from this current drought that didn't necessarily have the planning that we've had. Some of CAP's customers, like those in agriculture, may be facing reductions to their allotments given a shortage declaration on the Colorado. But here again, CAP and water planning will make a difference. Farmers in central Arizona have been getting ready for reduced water supplies for many years. Uh, farmers have been doing uh, laser leveled fields, installing drip irrigation systems and sprinkler systems in order to conserve water in the face of reduced water supplies. So these, uh, these efficiencies that we've achieved uh, will help us in the event that we have shortages declared on the Colorado River. Colorado River water delivered through CAP is a vital resource to a number of Arizona's Indian tribes. CAP water is, is critical, and one of the most important things is that we are one of the largest users of CAP water. And being an uh, Indian nation, it, it's important that we reflect on the, our value system. 
one of those primarily is that we are stewards of the water. With our CAP water, we have an opportunity again to be a good neighbor to those surrounding communities as well moving forward. For Arizona to continue to thrive economically, it must be able to attract strong new businesses, and water is a primary issue in those decisions. When any business is making that decision to expand or relocate, having consistent, reliable water supply is, is vitally important. So I think CAP is a major player in the decision whether companies are relocating to Arizona. Recently, an ASU School of Business research study found that CAP has been generating an economic benefit to Arizona of nearly $100 billion per year over the past several years. Well, when you put this in perspective, that the CAP impact is, a, is $100 billion in Arizona, our total state GDP is about $250 billion. So this has an enormous uh, impact. That's a large figure, but I can understand why it is. Because we are absolutely dependent on the Colorado River and the Central Arizona Project. In fact, Goodyear acquires 63% of our water is compromised, it comprised of that. That is our city resource for water. Water is a vital asset in any state's resource portfolio. And it's important that government officials, business leaders, and all the citizens of Arizona have an awareness and appreciation of our precious Colorado River water supplies. It's important they do realize the important role that, that CAP and really uh, good water management has played in getting us this far and the role it's going to play for the next hundred years.